So I've got uh, extra base layer on to hike in today. Um, it is Washington, so this is pretty typical uh, for winter weather here. So I have my pack loaded up. Um, you can see it here, but um, I have about 21 pounds in it. At this time, I uh, added extra water bottles just to replicate what I'll be carrying uh, on the PCT in the desert section. So I think I have pretty much everything in here. Uh, you know, even though it's not the exact gear I'm going to be bringing for some items like my tent and sleeping bag, uh, figuring out weights and everything on everything. I think I have pretty much everything in here I will would need to carry uh, minus, you know, a, a food supply. So I just have a, a snack in there for today because we're just going for the day. But anyway, so um, this is probably fairly close other than the extra the extra food I need so my goal is to keep my base weight uh, 15 pounds or under I'm trying to get it a little bit under and I, I believe I'm going to be able to do that uh, at least until I get to the Sierras so anyway just wanted to check in and um, I will do some filming on the trail uh, I've also been working on my resupply boxes so I will show you that all right so this is something I worked on yesterday um, just getting all my <clears throat> resupply boxes ready to go there's nothing in them yet but I have them all addressed labeled uh, numbered um, other than I will need at least one more for Kennedy Meadows for my uh, bear container and my ice axe these aren't big enough for that but you know I'm trying to the boxes actually arrived and they were smaller than I expected. I thought the medium size was the, um, actually the size of the large, but I think, I think it's going to be okay. Um, trying to put four to five day food supply in the smaller boxes. Um, and I think I could do that. I feel like if I'm, using more space than that that's more space and weight than I'd want to carry in my pack anyway so hopefully this will help me keep it um, realistic and that I'm not going to be carrying too much weight it'll help me plan better I think for uh, keeping my food items light and um, compactable so anyway this is what I have going on it's good to have that part out of the way um, and getting organized to make it as easy as I can for my family uh, so they can just uh, take one of these up, drop them in the mail uh, when I let them know, just send one. Um, I'm going to leave them open in case I need to change out items or add something to it before they send it to me. So that's my plan. Okay, so we are at... Madison Falls Trailhead uh, on the Elwha River. Um, so the road is washed out up the road here. Um, this is the Elwha River. And then this is the road that's washed out. It's closed off, so we're going to be hiking up this road and try to go as far as Lines Canyon today. There's that trail that goes around the road here in order to get to all the upper trails, the uh, uh, Olympic National Hot Springs, Altair Campground, which is now closed, Hughes Ranch, uh, the Elwha Trail that goes up to Hurricane Hill, Brook Creek, all these trails you have to hike up this road now to get to the trailhead. So here with Crystal and Jeremy and Zachary, and we're gonna go see Madison uh, Falls before we start heading up the road. Got my backpack loaded up. I put Crystal's water in here and some of her stuff too. So now it's about probably, I don't know, 23, 24 pounds. So got a good load. Cheese! 
What are we doing today? Um, hiking. Are we? Where are we hiking? Um, to the trail. To where? The trail. The trail? Yeah. Are we gonna go see some waterfalls? Yeah. And the river? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like water? Yeah. Yeah. Oh All my right. gosh. Yeah, that's okay, good. Let's go. Okay. Here we go. Come on, Zachary. What? I want you. You want me? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have some juice when we get back. Hey, we're on the way to Madison Falls. This is just a short trail. It's like point one tenth of a mile. I can hear it already. Do you hear the waterfall, Zachary? No. You don't hear the waterfall? You don't want to hike? No. So the kids are being ornery today. Zach is super ornery. And yeah, it's going to be an interesting day. All right. Coming up on the falls. Whoa, look at that. Look back there. Come look at the waterfall. Look. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Big waterfall. Beautiful. That's it? That's it? Is that not impressive? No, not the waterfall. Oh. Would you like that height? Yeah. What do you think of that waterfall, Jack? Hey, go climb up there and knock. Knock that seat down. What do you think? We're gonna head up to on the Elwha Road here. You know, leave this beautiful waterfall and head up, head up the road and uh, hope the kids will mind. It's not going so good so far, so might end up being a short hike today. I don't know what they're going through, but they're stressing Crystal out already. All right, we've got kind of a slow start. We've only made it about a half a mile so far. We're just walking up this road. We've got about another three miles to go. Uh, feels like it's gonna start sprinkling. So, anyway, just gonna keep walking. Okay, we are at the bypass trail. Uh, so we're going off the road and this goes around the washout of the road. So, we're gonna head up here through the woods. Keep going, Jeremy. Oh! Come on. Yay, into the woods. He's not gonna fall out. He's fine. Woo! Going uphill. First hill of the day. Definitely feeling this weight on my back. I said, yeah. I said, I'm definitely feeling this weight on my back. Did you weigh it? All right, we're on the trail up above the washout. There's the river down below. Looks like the washout is up there, maybe. 
Huh. Yeah. Another big hill. Uh, yeah. Just trucking along. Zach and Crystal and Jeremy behind me. All right. Still hiking on this uh, trail that goes around the washout. Pretty trail. Hasn't started raining, so that's good. It's been some good inclines so far, so working up a sweat. Definitely can feel this extra weight on my back, um, but it's not unbearable. Just really notice it going up hills, the extra stress on my legs. But we're making good progress. I think we've gone one and a half miles. Got a couple more miles to go. Just wanted to stop and take a picture of this. Zachary, look. Look, Zach. Hi. Cheese. Cheese. Do you see all the pretty ferns? Yeah. Beautiful forest. We live in such a beautiful place. And there's the river over there. This whole trail's been following yeah. the river all along. And here's Jeremy playing yeah. in the mud. He's got yeah. his bogs on, so. He can play in the mud, as long as he isn't flinging on us. We don't want mud on us. Ah. Trail's getting a little bit muddy through here, but it's not bad, a little slick. All right. We are back off. We came off the access trail down there. And uh, you can see the washout. I'll, I'll get a better picture on the way back. And then uh, we just got our first view of the mountains. It's trying to clear up. Um, I don't know if you can see it very good in here, but the top of this road, you can see some of the peaks from the Olympic Mountains. I'm not sure which peak that is I'm looking at, but beautiful. Yeah, so now we're just going to keep walking up this road about another mile and a half uh, to get up to Altair Campground, which is closed down uh, due to the this road being washed out. It's been closed down for a few years now. Uh, yeah, so easy road walk. All right, we are at the ranger station. And this must be housing for people that work in the park. But it's, I don't think it's being used right now. Since this ranger station is closed down. This campground's closed down. Huh. But yeah, at one time, I think... They used to house a lot of the, I think the park rangers and stuff that come work in the summers oh. Oh, uh, in this area. So, yeah, Elwha Ranger Station. We're going to keep heading up here. Miles away. Yeah, well, we don't have to do that. Just so, we are at the bridge uh, crossing the Elwha River, this is the way we're going, and this is the way we just came from down this road. So we're almost to Altair Campground up here. Um, last spring we did the West Elwha Trail, which if you look down the river here you can't see the campground, but that trail comes all the way up to, on the west side of this river up to Altair and that's a nice hike too so yeah because we could see this bridge where we stopped for lunch at the end of that trail right at the beginning of the campground. All right we're heading back down the road to the trailhead. We've got about three miles to go. Uh, probably about another mile till we get to the trail that goes around the washout. There'll be some hills again to go up to get back. 
it. We're making good progress. There's Crystal and Zachary. And there's Jeremy. We just stopped to take a break. Jeremy's playing on a rock pile. So we've got about a mile and a half to get back to the trailhead. Super tired. My feet hurt. Um, I think from walking on the road, it always seems to make my feet hurt worse than a trail. So, um, Pack did pretty good though. Definitely can tell the difference in my legs though. I'm walking with a heavier load on, but um, I think it's going to work out fine. Uh, just need to get used to hiking with it. I'll probably just bring it with me for all my hikes now. So pretty soon I won't even notice it, right? And there's Jeremy, playing king of the mountain. It's a rock pile here from uh, when they tried to fix the first washout, I think. Um, but after they fixed the road, it just washed out again. And now I think there's two washouts, so. Anyway, you can see where the, the river flows on both sides of the road now instead of just on the west side so yeah it's kind of a bummer there's a lot of good trails up here it takes uh quite a few miles to get up to just get to the trailhead so okay, Jeremy, we didn't make it all the way up to glines canyon today we went up four miles up past uh where the bridge goes and there's a picnic area um we didn't even make it all the way up to the altar campground so Kids start getting tired. We start getting tired, so. Okay, so we're back from our hike. Um, <clears throat> it was a good hike today. We did about seven and a half miles. I um, realized after getting back and uh, looking at the map again, we actually went past Altair Campground and didn't realize it. There was a sign after the bridge that said picnic area. Um, I hadn't been up there in, I don't know, since the 90s. So uh, I, I thought the campground was actually up, up the road a little more. So we kept walking probably another mile and um, ended up just eating lunch on the road and then heading back down. So anyway, we did seven and a half miles total and um, did pretty good. My legs are sore and I think it's mainly from... Walking on the asphalt, I've noticed that before, that it seems to put a lot more stress on my, my feet in walking on asphalt than walking on dirt, so. Um, definitely noticed some difference, though, in carrying a pack, even, you know, it's probably close to 25 pounds. But uh, the backpack is doing well, it's comfortable, and so I think it's going to work out fine. You know, hopefully I won't have to carry much more than that. Yeah, I think the only times I will be is when, if I have a, a large load of water um, in dry parts of the desert sections, you know, when I have to carry, you know, I don't know, over five, six liters of water or more and have a full, like, resupply. So on those times I might be pushing 30 pounds. Uh, anyway, I'm going to try to get my base weight down as, as low as I can without sacrificing safety or, or you know, comfort. Um, <clears throat> and, and I don't think that's going to be too hard. I think with what I have planned to get and what I already have, um, I've been working on the weights and, and trying to keep it down below 15 pounds. I'd like to get it down to about 13 if I can so anyway that's my goal and I'm just gonna start hiking now with my pack on um, so I can get used to it and, and carrying the extra weight so I think it gets a little better each week I am even though I'm a little bit sore today I think I'll be okay by morning and I am going to try to do another hike tomorrow afternoon um, kind of depends on the weather though. We're supposed to get snow tomorrow, so we'll we'll just play it by ear and see how it goes. And 
Um, hopefully I can get out there and at least do a few more miles tomorrow. I haven't done a lot of hiking of multiple days in a row, so that's kind of my goal now that it's February and I'm done working, is to at least start walking, even if it's not hiking, just to walk you know, around the neighborhood and maybe walk to town and back and just get used to doing that on a daily basis, you know, so I can build up my endurance and um, just work on getting my muscles in shape to, to get used to doing it for multiple days in a row. You know, normally I hike, do day hikes on the weekend, so typically I have, you know, a few days to recover when I hike. I'm not going to be able to do that so much when you're when you're on a through hike you're hiking every day for the most part so I you know need to get used to that and make sure that's you know something I'm going to be able to do and um, just see how my body reacts uh, to, to walking that many miles a day so anyway um, just gonna rest now and um, get ready for tomorrow